Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is my second rather silly attempt at trying to record a review video for the 2020 release of Greyhound, written and direct, well, written and starring Tom Hanks. So he adapted it from a novel, and I forget who's directing it because it's not important, because it's basically Tom Hanks. But before we get into that, let me remind you that for every thousand subscribers I get, I buy one of these bracelets from the company Bore Ocean. And what happens when you buy one of these bracelets is they pull a pound of trash out of the ocean. So if you want to help me clean the ocean, you should really comment on this video, like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Because there's a lot of pounds of trash in the ocean, and if everyone on YouTube subscribed to me, it wouldn't be enough to get them all out. I'd have to start, you know, like, for every hundred or something. Or maybe every year, every thousand. So, like, you know, if I have ten thousand, it's ten pounds a year. And so if I had, like, a couple million, it'd be, like, a couple hundred thousand pounds of stuff important. Anyway, Greyhound. Greyhound is the story of a, uh, naval captain getting his first command to guard merchant ships as they cross the ocean to go supply England during World War II. Yes, World War II. One of the most valiant wars in uh, an American history. We really like World War II. In fact, I think they call that the Great Generation. Anyway, so Hanks there plays a total super Boy Scout captain who is all about duty and love of country and can do no wrong. And of course, this movie keeps you right with him the entire time. Now, it's Tom Hanks. I know. You, you love this guy. I've loved this guy as an actor for my whole life. Remember, I think first film I might have seen of his was big. And I love that film. And this is, this is no exception. It is not as gory and violent as Saving Private Ryan. I believe it is a PG-13 rating, but there is some violence and there is some uh, some mayhem to be had. But really, the CGI on this film I think is superb. You really feel. I mean, it might not look the same on the big screen, but this is a streaming film. You can see there's Apple TV is there, and it, it's a. Uh, you know, the CG is just really good. You really feel like you're you're on a ship, and then that ship is coursing through the waves, running down a German U-boat. It's just, it's one of those things. Now, it is a very cyclical type of a movie. It's, we've got a situation, we deal with the situation. We're trying to get somewhere. It's, again, very understandable. And that's that's just basically the movie. It's like, okay, here's the next threat. Let's go deal with that. All right, we made it through. We've taken some damage. Okay, here comes the next. And then the, the cyclical all the way through. But during the entire time, I was surprised how fast this movie seemed to be going and how it kept my interest. I really enjoyed this film. And that not a lot of films can say that nowadays. Most of the films I watch, I just go, come on. Get to something. Get to something. They're really fond of what's called a pregnant pause. Which is that, that moment before an event happens. You know? This film does not have that. It is just non-stop. In the next second, something new will be happening. Or, you know, the steward will be bringing the captain his, his uh, meal. Which he doesn't appear never actually appeared to finish a meal uh, this captain so you look at you look at Hanks I think they skinnied him up a little bit for the poster wish they could do that to me but uh, you know he doesn't look like he's lost a lot of meals he, he looks like a slightly bloated Tom Hanks but uh, you know hey he's getting up there in years but still very convincing as, as maybe playing a uh, mid 40's captain so yes, I would I would recommend putting this movie on your watch list. In fact, I would almost give it a must watch. It's not I mean it's right right at that that point 
where I think, you know, no one is talking about this movie and they should be. If you watch, I think almost everyone will enjoy this movie. It's a great film. It's one of the better ones I've seen this year. So it's right up there. Place it very high on your watch list. If you happen to have a streaming service that already carries this movie, definitely make it a must-watch. Because, yes, this this would be a great film to see in theaters, and I would have paid full price for a ticket. Definitely enjoyed it. You know, lovely film. And it takes place on the ocean, which, again, I am trying to save. So, you know, Greyhound. Must watch. Go watch it. Good film. I'm Richard. Hello there. This is El Mouso Fabuloso, and I would just like to say, have you noticed how ridiculously sexy Richard is? Well, yes. He is sexy, and he is helping the environment. Promised to take a pound of trash out of the ocean through the company for Ocean. Once he's monetized for every thousand subscribers he gets. He's already paid for two pounds, and as I film this, not even two thousand subscribers and not monetized. So, so he is just an absolutely fabulous, sexy, sexy man. And you, you, you lucky dog, you can make him even more sexy by commenting and liking this video and giving, giving him that thumbs up and then subscribing and letting everybody know how absolutely sexy he is. Let's make, let's make Richard the sexiest man on earth. Because we all know, we all know he is already. Alright? We all know he deserves that. So yes. Oh, so sexy. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm sexy too. Sexy in blue.